Hello Taurus, welcome back to my channel. Let's quickly look what you have for the week ahead. Regards your spirituality, energies, people you're dealing, romance, life events, anything in particular that would be useful for us to know. So, Taurus, snake and swan. Shedding your own skin, going into something very beautiful. I know it is a Taurus season and uh, yeah, for those who are celebrating birthday, happy birthday. I think this is a very uh, perfect card that really tells about your new life cycle, karmic cycle. You are stepping into something very powerful, very beautiful, very attractive. Um, it could be, you know, your energy, Taurus, so probably you are really attra attracting a lot of attention from people, but also you feel inside that you are transforming, that you're leaving the old and stepping into the new. And I feel, you know, for some of, of you will mean a travel, um, maybe not a very long distance, but I feel that there will be a lot of local sort of traveling. Um, maybe the restrictions has lifted in, in where you live and you are going to visit your family, your friends. There will be a celebration coming. So for those who are celebrating your birthday, for those who are uh, celebrating anything in particular that means of, you know, celebrating, um, it's a very much in your cards. And also the energy speaks for me highly about transformation in your you know, in your spiritual world, I think you sensing that you are different. I think you feeling that suddenly from nowhere, people keep coming to you, uh, asking, you know, particular things. Um, and you're just surprised how come suddenly so many people are getting in touch. So I think it will be very social um, week, I was about to say month, maybe it is as well a month. So this is a very strong energy for you, my dear Taurus. Let's have a look at what else we can get um, energetically from the tarot cards. Um, what else for Taurus collective message? So we have here King of Swords, okay, the Hierophant, okay, uh, Four of Cups and Five of Cups. Now, it's very interesting energy. I would say that this is definitely meaning um, to say there is a new beginning for you. You are communicating something very strong. You're trying to detach yourself from all the emotions. It might be that someone else will communicate to you. Maybe you will hear from certain institutions. It could be um, tax, government, uh, church, um, any sort of institution uh, that has particular tradition, rules, who will be communicating with you. They will say there are certain things that we might give, but certain things that we, we can't compromise with. And I think you will be feeling in that moment quite disappointed. However, the cars really are saying this, what is happening is happening because you need to complete, you know, the old cycle. And maybe your expectation was, you know, about that it would come to fruition, you know, on your terms. However, this is not the way it seems to be like, because yeah, the communication that either yourself going to make towards someone else or someone as institution will be communicating something to you and you will be slightly disappointed. Um, what else we can get for you, Taurus? Okay, King of Wands. Temperance, okay, two of wands and seven of swords. So you are balancing things in your life. You are really, uh, you are, I think you feel quite disappointed with the decision that has been made. Um, you feel that someone just got away with something that is very unfair. 
and you are thinking about how to balance you know things in your life and i think you are really understanding that things are changing and shifting in your life and you want you know to find that fire in you to act but at the same time you feel that there is some sort of lid uh, on certain things put and you can't really push all you can do is to plan, envision things to change, wait for that perfect timing. I think the temperance is about, you know, balance, assessing things, how they are going, and don't hold um, the upset because the seven of swords for me is talking that you are left sort of disappointed that someone is getting away with something that... That they shouldn't right um you feel quite kind of you know treated them fairly or it could be as well a a, a something sad uh, that leaves you quite hurt and you have to think you know about the new move about the new strategy however i think you're very relaxed um despite this i would say bump uh, on the road um i think you are quite Quite okay, your spirit is calm, you are, you know, aligned within yourself and you know that certain things might be not in your control and you just need, you know, to let it go. So let's see what else we can get. See yeah, the fairy of youth, heartless love, the queen of Bellum, and the lady unicorns. Well, for me, this is obviously a romantic message. I think you, um, I think you had certain plans with maybe your romantic partner, and you feel disappointed because that they are not really communicating with you or being aligned with you in the same way as you are. Um, maybe you know the vision, the plan that you have set for yourself and the partner um is is quite different from what you thought um maybe you have communicated and planned you know a trip or um there was you know some sort of you know uh daily routine changes um that you kind of thought you know that your your partner your romantic partner will be interested uh, to to make you know some changes some differences because it could mean as well, you know, changing your routine, maybe habits on certain on certain things, um, even maybe, you know, some short trip distance, uh, a plan to go somewhere that will be sort of changed the last minute um, because someone is not really aligned, you know, with the same the same vision as yourself. However, don't lose the hope. Uh, still, you know, on the cards, I see a lot of potential. You know, if one plan doesn't work, it doesn't mean that all the all the plans can't come in the in in the view. So think, you know, very very broadly, and uh, the solution will come. Don't be, you know, sort of feeling that you are. Uh, cold shouldered and you know left I would say in the cold um, the person probably has a lot on their plate I would say you know if, the, if it is your romantic interest they just at the moment can't um, see the same way as you are okay we have a beautiful cast like I said I love when the message is resonating you know with the cards so so we have the upon a wild daughter uh, the singer of cannabis, the singer of connection, and the fairy godmother. I feel that it could be as well a conversation about um, extending, you know, your family, um, you know, thinking really about the future, um, you know, what we will be doing, because I have um, on my, you know, sort of uh, visions and plans in the future that I would like, you know, some you know, a child or maybe even a pet to adopt and and basically your partner is saying we are connected, we are aligned uh, and I am, you know, supportive of your visions and plans but for time being I just feel not ready. So Taurus, if you will feel that your, you know, romantic partner um, sort of giving you um, cold shoulder, it's not because they, they don't love you, they, they don't care about you. 
at the moment they are really really in a different sort of place in different world they 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 feel that they need to resolve certain uh, internal issues or even externally might be something happening that really occupies and takes their energy so all i can say it's all good the cars really are talking that you will find other ways uh, if your plan needs to be put on a hold for time being, it's okay because there is a lot of potential in future coming to give you the blessing. So if it is a plan about uh, really expanding your family, buying you know a pet, it will happen. It's just the message that for time being, it's not the right time. So I hope it resonates. Leave your comment in the uh, comment box. Um, and uh, if you want a private reading, please contact me in person. Thank you so much and I'll speak soon.